Yeah, hello, John Small, Trials Agronomist for Central West Farming Systems. Today we're here at our Weath Alley trial site. It's the 22nd of October, and the crops are just starting to starting their dry down process. We've got a, a trial here that compares how different stubble treatments pre-sowing affect the crop's performance. We've got five varieties of wheat, so let's just have a quick look at them. We've got Sun Top, a very popular mid-season variety. We've got Livingston. An older variety, but still very popular. We've got Gregory, one of those true performers that just seems to come through year after year. Um, we've got Spitfire. It's been around for a few years now, but it, it is uh, very popular. And then the latest variety, a short season variety, released last year called Condo. What we're seeing this year is that, again, with the very tight finish, the shorter season varieties are performing quite well. Um, be interesting to see the impact on grain quality of this very tight finish we've experienced so far. But what have we learned about the handling of stubble pre-sowing and its effect on crop performance? In localities like Weath Alley where we're unlikely to get uh, greater than a three tonne stubble load, on this site there was about a tonne and a half at stubble, uh, stubble at sowing. There's been very little impact on crop performance. So the main message is to do whatever you've got to do to get your crop sown on time, and that follows a fallow where you've had zero to tolerance to weeds. And they're the main drivers of crop performance. In areas where we've had higher stubble loads or where you get greater than three tonnes per hectare, there's probably some opportunities to manipulate your stubble pre-sowing.